Ready, set, go. Greetings, undetermined spectators of the World Wide Web. I am Tall Lanky Guy, and welcome to Discomfort. Uh, you can't tell from the capture, but this this game opened to a very, very small window. Like it's about it's about a quarter of the size of what you're prob of what you're watching right now, and it's very strange. So I don't know much about it. It kind of looks like. I, like a kind of bizarre game, or just like a weird, um, a weird horror game. But, uh, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is very weird. Oh, this is extremely weird. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna use the, uh, the capture to oh this is so weird oh hello all right so i t i use left and right to turn and up and down to okay there i am i'm very pretty i'm i look so nice wow this is cool all right i'm not even looking at the actual game window i'm just looking at the capture because it's a much bigger thing what is that a game boy it's a handheld console still still turned on. Okay, why is that? Why is that there? Why do we have that? Uh, I actually used to have a, an original Game Boy. It, it's a great time. We had I had Donkey Kong Land on it. It's a great game. Okay, I don't like the fact that I can't look down. I don't like a lot of things. Okay, this door is locked. That's fine. That's fine. I'll get to it. Hello, Mr. Grandfather Clock. You're looking well. You know, for a grandfather clock. Alright, this is... Okay. A lighter. I found a lighter, I guess. Is that going to be useful? It's a candle. Already used, but still useful. Can I light it with the lighter? Oh, I can move sideways using the Q and E buttons. That's interesting. Picked up a key. Cool. All right. Let's. That's so jarring. Let's uh, let's go use that on the on the locked door. The key fits. Perfect. Hello. That's. That doesn't look good. That looks pretty bad, actually. That looks pretty not ideal. What exactly do we have going on here? Hello, uh, this is an email from from Sarah to raindrop at something .com. I hear nine. What the hell, Phil? Have you got nuts? Why I told me everything? Where the hell are you? Also, please stop saying these things. I'm heading right there. Uh, wait for me and don't do anything stupid, okay? All right, all right. I'll try not to do anything stupid. Let's look at this one. It's time to breeze. From the creators of Firmamus Quest and Planet Shape, here's Star Breeze, a new platforming challenge that you won't want to miss. All right, David, about Firework. You should really give it a try. I bought a copy for the NES, because the Sega one doesn't look so good. It's crazy how many things you can do with a simple story. I'd really like to meet the story writer. Answer only if you buy it. Okay. Well, what's this warning about NeedNet? Warning, if you, st if you stop reading this, you'll die. In 1982, a boy named Calvin was strangled to death in front of his PC. It's a bit foreboding. After his death, his email address started sending a photo to everyone. Okay, if you don't resend this email to five other people, Calvin will appear in your dreams and kill you. I think I understand why this game is called Discomfort. All right, let's keep let's keep moving. I'm just gonna stop reading this and not send it to anyone. Buy our new products. Our new new knees of Pam has arrived to our stores. Buy knees of Pam by clicking on the link below. Sorry, but I don't need any knees of Pam right now. Uh, have you tried summoning the Nine Woman? I I honestly haven't. But that 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 little 
design looks familiar, so I have a feeling that someone tried it. It is said that she'll answer to one question of yours, but you have to stay alive in the process. The fact that that seems like a, like a, like a significant factor makes me think I maybe don't want to summon the gnawing woman. Especially the fact that she's described as the gnawing woman. That doesn't seem like my kind of party. I hear nine. All right, let me know when you'll stop being this weird. <laughs> I still have chills thinking about what you said last time we met. I know you're joking, but please don't even don't ever consider doing such things. That said, I'm going to avoid all these need.net emails. They're starting to creep me out. By the way, why did you cut your hair? I I haven't cut my hair in a while. It's actually starting to get a little long again. But uh, you know, why do you have to worry about why I cut my hair? Maybe I needed a change. Maybe, maybe I'm going through some changes in my life, you know? Need to that. Ghost photos. Okay, here's our last batch of ghost photos. Can I, can I scroll through this? No, but, uh, okay, whatever. It's a nice ghost photo. M watch out from these two. You've been visited by these two persons yesterday. Why? You don't know about that, but it really is something. TV won't talk about it, but apparently it is terrorizing a lot of people nowadays. Being visited does no harm at all, but avoid encountering it when you're alone in the streets. It could be fatal. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna get out of here now. This is not good. Upon hearing this information, I can now confirm this is not good. Should I be... Oh, picked up a candle. Perfect. Should I be picking up those candles? Should Is that something I should be doing? Where's the exit? I don't need it. Maybe I do need the exit. Maybe I should be exiting as soon as heckin' possible. Should I pick up? I have something else to do first? What do I have to do first? Do I need to fix myself up at all? No, no, I'm looking good. I'm looking good still, despite the fact that I've probably summoned the gnawing woman. Picked up a candle. Perfect. Oh, I think I know what these candles are for. Picked up the lighter. Do I need to, do I need to set these candles in a special arrangement? Gotta fix the symbol first. Okay! His hand is... Whose hand is cold? I don't want to look under the blankets. Okay. Is there anything... Oh. Oh, I can look down. Picked up the tainted knife. Great. Gotta fix the symbol first. Okay. Can I look up? Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. I probably should have looked at the controls before I did all that. Let's try and look at... Okay. Do do. Okay. New platforming. Now available. Cool. About fireworks. Really? Answer only if you buy it. Warning. Okay. Calvin will appear in your dreams and kill you. Oh, okay. That's Calvin. Now that you've seen the picture, it's too late to step back. Resend this or you'll die a painful death. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. Just this time. Just this time. Oh, and there was something wrong in the last email. It has to be yours. Great. I love it. Alright. Well. Anything more to learn about? Oh, discover all our new products by signing to our newsletter. Cool. Great. Uh, you gotta stay alive in the process. Rules are simple. Draw on the ground in your home, the symbol above. Done. As far as I can tell. Place three candles on every ellipse you've drawn. Then cut your hairs and put them over the smile you drew. Great. The last part is tricky. It's a bit tricky though. So I'll be straight. You have to cut off the index finger of someone you know. Then make sure to be alone in your home. Okay, I got that. Turn on the candles and wait for it. Do anything you want, but avoid sleeping and keep the finger with you. <sighs> Alright. 
When she'll come, she'll ask the finger to you. All right, she'll ask for the finger. Uh, give it to her and ask your question to receive an answer. Touching her or failing the instructions above could lead to your death. So watch out. All right, all right, I'll do my best. Uh, why did you cut your hair? What else does she have to say? No, she doesn't have anything else to say. Let's take a look at more of these ghost photos because I feel like I knew that this... Okay, that... I don't know. Oh, I see the ghost in there. I see it there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I see it. I'm getting a good look. Get more on need.net. Cool. Been visited by these two persons yesterday night. Could be fatal. Okay. Oh, that's that looks lovely. That's such a great time. All right. I heard. I saw that. I saw that little thing in the corner of my eye. I'm gonna grab this whole, this here candle. Uh, and then look on down. Gotta fix the symbol first. How do I fix the symbol? What do I need to fix the symbol? Oh, there we go. I cut his finger. There we go. That's what I needed. Okay. Used Phil's bloody finger to fix the symbol. Now I got the candles. Lit the candles using the kitchen's lighter. Anything? Anything? What else was in the... I can't remember what else was in the thing. Hello? Gnawing woman? Are you anywhere in here? Oh, wait. Maybe I need to grab this. I have something else to do first. Okay. Oh, I need to cut my hair. That's what I need to do. Picked up the scissors. There we go. Now I go back in here. I go back. I go back in here. Gonna cut my hair, you know, as you do. Or do I need to do I need to cut my hair in the bathroom? Is that is that the process that I have to do? Oh, there we go. There we go. Hair's been cut. Can I grab the Game Boy now? No. Got I I no time for gaming so far. Can't get can't do that quite yet. So got the finger, got the hair. Put my hairs on the symbol. Yep. Now I have to wait. I should find a way to lose time. I'll play on my Game Boy. It's time. It's time to get my gamers on. Doodle do. Dot matrix with stereo sound. What exactly is it going on here? Locked. Locked. Okay. What's over here? This is fascinating. This is a nice little game within a game. Sink is missing his valve. All right. Uh, what's in the save is locked. Can I open the door? The door unsettles me. You and me both, pal. Uh, what do we got? Is there anything interesting on the bed? Ah! Picked up a small key. Can I do anything with the key? What can I use for the on the key? There we go. Use the small key. There's nothing. Picked up a valve. Alright. Time to put the valve on the bath. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Neato. Now what? Picked up a... <sighs> Picked up a bloody key. That's fine. Oh, cool. Picked up a screwdriver. Alright. What about oh good. Oh the door is open now. The door on the door still unsettles me though. I guess that's fine. Oh, I did that. Boom. Uh-huh. Oh, are we getting out through the window? What's this? I think I did something. What did I do? Oh, it's an exit door. Perfect. I got out. Great. 
Well, the gnawing woman should have arrived by now, so I'm very excited. I'll just go check out uh, what's going on. Hello, ma'am. You did wrong. Thanks for playing. I've been cursed. We'll screw off with that. Well, I guess I did something wrong. I don't know what I did wrong. I, I followed everything to the letter. I didn't even touch her. I didn't touch her. I thought I was just going to ask my question. I didn't mean for that little space bar hit to mean that I was going to give her a little... A little tickle under the chin. I didn't, I didn't mean to like poke her shoulder and be like, excuse me, I have a question. I was just going to ask the question. So, these, these, these summoned ghost demon ladies got to have better, better manners, I tell ya. They got to, they got to appreciate the effort that went into this stuff. So, not too impressed. With, uh, with, uh, the moaning, the gnawing lady. Mm -mm. Three, three stars out of ten. At best. So. That, that was discomfort. Uh, it did make me un uncomfortable. So it achieved that objective. If that was indeed the objective, which I think it was. So. Thank you very much for watching. I actually really enjoyed, enjoyed that. I love me a good unsettling horror game. So, if you liked the video, go ahead and click the like button. Uh, if you got other games that you want me to play or just other things for me to do on the video, uh, feel free to put those in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed or rung the bell, those are both things you can do. I'll see you later.